Hi and welcome back. In this video, we'll learn about creating TLS certificate using an open source tool from Cloudflare that is CFSSL and CFSSL JSON. When we talk about uh, CFSSL, it is the uh, tool provided by Cloudflare that is a public key infrastructure tool or TLS toolkit and they call it as a Swiss army knife. And it is both a command line tool and an HTTP API server for signing, verifying and bundling TLS certificate. Later in this video, when we'll do a lab, we'll see that how we can create a CA, how we can sign it uh, using uh, by, by running the HTTP API server and also without running the HTTP API server. It is built on Go and requires 1.12 plus Go version to build. And CFSSL is not only a tool for bundling a certificate, it can be used as a CA, as a certificate authority, and that we are going to see how we can generate a certificate authority. This feature of certificate creation includes creating a private key, building a certificate signature request, and signing certificate. Later we'll see the uh, blog, which is very useful and written by Cloudflare themselves. CFSSL JSON is actually a helper tool. It helps to convert the output that we uh, get, that we receive when we sign the certificate into three files, that is a .csr file, uh, .pem file, and uh, slash key.pem file, that is a private key, public key, and CSR file. Next, we'll see our lab. So let's start the lab. Open the terminal, and we'll log into our uh, server, means, the Azure uh, instance that I'm using and let me into the password. Okay, we'll create a folder named CFSSL and now we'll go and download the binaries. So let me open up uh, Kelsey Hyatt's documentation. I find the best place to download all the things and here he have written that command to download that. So I'll just paste the command and download the binaries and then uh, give the binaries the executable permission. And finally, move the binaries to slash user slash local slash bin directory. Let's verify it once. Okay, so we have CFSSL running. This is the block that I was talking about. And this block has lots of information that uh, will help you understand the tool CFSSL. They themselves use it to generate the certificate. And this is the architecture, like the uh, there is a root CA, there are intermediate CAs, and there are leaf. And there are lots of commands here that will help you understand about the uh, tool and uh, will give you a starting point. So we are going to keep this blog open and see what we can do next. So another thing that to generate a certificate, we write CFFSL gen cert dash dash help. And there you'll get a lots of helpful command. So this is what I personally use. So if I have to generate a CA, I can write CFSSL uh, gensert dash dash uh, dash init CA. And there are lots of commands here. And what we need to do is we need to actually uh, find what is the default uh, CSR looks like. So if you just write CFSSL print default CSR, you'll find this. Next, you can see what the default configuration looks like and just write it and use it. So we'll copy these things and we'll verify, modify it according to our need. So let's do that. So we'll make a ca-config.json file and we'll paste that configuration file here and we'll modify it according to our needs. So uh, change the expiry to one year, that is 8760 hours. And profile name, I'll change it to Kubernetes because we are doing a Kubernetes course. And in the users, you see that there is signing key and cipherment, server authentication, and add one more, that is the client authentication. And that is written below, so I'll copy that. Just paste it. Okay. And we'll remove the rest of the things from here. So let's do that. Okay. Now just save the file. And next we'll go and create a CSR file. So we'll write another, we'll create another file that is named as CSR. But before that we'll print the default CSR, copy that file, copy this thing and create a ca-csr.json file. Paste it here 
and uh, let the company name be Kubernetes. And we don't require host for the CA, so we'll remove the host. And in the algorithm, we are going to use RSA and size is going to be 2048 that I have discussed why we should use 2048. And you can provide the information here that the country, state uh, and location. So I'm in India, Uttar Pradesh and I live in Varanasi. We can add some extra information like the organization and the organizational unit. So in the organization, I'll add Kubernetes and in the organizational unit, I can add, uh, let it name be as Kubernetes the hard way or you can also name it as CA. It's up to you. Okay, so we have saved it, right? And next task is to generate the certificate, means uh, CA. So we'll write that and init CA and provide the JSON file, CSR.json file, and it will generate the certificate with public key, private key, and CSR. But we want it to be distributed in three different files, so we'll use CFSSL JSON dash bear and name the file. And now you can see that we have three files generated, CA key, CA.CSR, and CA.PEM. Our next task is to create a, a certificate request, signing request, and we'll sign it using the CA. So for that, we'll use CA CSR gensort and provide the CA a public key and private key and provide the configuration file that we need to sign. So all these are manual steps that we are doing now. So let's uh, create a file. So I'll just, uh, copy the files from uh, Kelsey Hightower's documentation because I think he have a lots of configuration that we'll do later in this course. So I'll copy the admin one, right? In the admin, he have defined the Kubernetes uh, company name, keys and names, all those similar things. And below he had directly written the uh, command that is CFSSL gensort and provided the CA key and uh, a PEM file and all, all other information like profile, configuration file and the name that he wants to generate. So I'll just paste this here and press enter. And next I'll uh, see that what is in the admin.csr file. And finally we'll do CFSSL gensort dash just help grab that command means the gensort command, not the remote command. Remote command will use letter and modify it according to our own files. So we have a public key named ca.pem. We have a private key named as ca-key.pem. We have a configuration file, means ca configuration file, uh, ca-config.json. And we have defined a profile named Kubernetes. We don't have any host name, so we'll leave it as, uh, we'll delete that. And finally provide the admin csr.json file. And here you can see that we have generated the certificate, but we need to provide a, a CFSSL JSON to uh, convert that into three separate files. So we'll do that. Okay. I think there is some error. Okay, we need to remove the clear. So let's remove that. Now it should work. Okay, so we have generated it with some warning that there is no host name provided. It's okay, we don't need the host, host name here. And three files have been generated. Okay, so this was one method of generating the files. The other method is using the uh, remote method. But for to, to sign the certificate using remote method, we should uh, serve the CFSSL. So for that, let's uh, for serve the CFSSL using CFSSL serve command. And if you uh, write dash dash address localhost, I think I need to copy this. So I'll just go to the blog and copy this file from here. Okay and just paste it here. Or yeah, in fact, you can uh, write help and there are lots of options out there. So you can use them according to the uh, your requirements. I just copied it because it was simple for me to do that. And I and definitely I know, so I did that. And we need to modify the uh, 
key files and uh, public file means private and public file here and just press enter and our server is listening and you can see that different APIs are enabled using the sign API. So when, okay, I think something went wrong. It's enabled. Okay. Got it means I think I have provided a admin.csr okay so now it's generated right and just need to pass the uh, uh bar cfssl json dash bear and uh the name as admin too so this is the second admin file that i'm generating so you can see that we are successfully able to generate the file using the server uh, api